Gore was appointed sheriff by county supervisors in 2009, after his predecessor also retired early. That appointment gave him the advantage of incumbency when he ran for a full term in 2010. Some were concerned Gore was orchestrating a similar plan to get his endorsed candidate for sheriff, Kelly Martinez, her own interim appointment. But Martinez quickly said she wouldn't accept that post. Political strategist Ava Posner says that will make the election more fair. You know, it wasn't too long ago these elections weren't even challenged and people didn't even know they could vote for sheriff, let alone having a true choice in the matter that hasn't already been predetermined by a small group on the Board of Supervisors. Gore has had a long career in law enforcement, working 32 years at the FBI. Supporters credit him with reducing recidivism in jails and improving the process for issuing concealed weapon permits. But critics say he's failed to address the high rate of inmate deaths in county jails. The San Diego Union-Tribune editorial board wrote Wednesday, more than 150 people have died in custody due to poor health, suicide, overdoses, and homicide since Gore became sheriff. Some cases reflected egregious callousness from deputies toward inmates, suffering drug withdrawals or lacking the medicine they needed for severe medical conditions. County Board of Supervisors Chair Nathan Fletcher says the vote to appoint an interim sheriff will come in March, after the filing deadline to run for sheriff. A handful of candidates are running for sheriff, with Martinez and retired sheriff's deputy Dave Myers emerging as frontrunners. Andrew Bowen, KPBS News.